is Blockchain Talks, and I'm happy to welcome you to another video. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button and notification bell down below, so you get know whenever we post similar videos like this. And just before we let us go into today's video, okay, let's start with the new sweeping crypto space. Alpha network miners around the world? In this article we will be making an easy to understand explanation on what liquidity is, and we will also focus on how liquidity is generated on centralized exchanges, as centralized exchanges is the most common platform for cryptocurrency trading. We will try to make the explanations easy and short. What is liquidity? Liquidity in cryptocurrency is simply how easy you can exchange, buy or sell, a cryptocurrency. A cryptocurrency market or trading pair for example F slash USDT can be liquid or illiquid. When it is liquid it means there are high demand of those on want to buy these assets, and also high supply from those who want to sell off these assets. When it is illiquid it means not much persons are interested in trading these assets. How is liquidity generated in a centralized exchange? The main purpose of an exchange platform is to connect buyers with sellers, or sellers with buyers. Without exchange platforms, cryptocurrency trader might have to advertise their offers on social media to trade a particular cryptocurrency for another, and hope that someone is interested. Example of these was the trading done on the Alpha Network. Telegram Trading Group which is now currently disabled, this was due to no exchange service for trading the Alpha Coin. Thanks to the Alpha Network team for developing an exchange service which we will be expecting soon, Trading will go on smoothly and safely as soon as the exchange starts functioning. When a market or a trading pair like F slash USDT is listed on an exchange it simply means that holders of F and holders of USDT can now exchange their assets between themselves. For an example someone interested in selling off $50 worth of F for USDT can simply put up a sell order on the exchange, and someone interested in buying $50 worth of ETH using USDT can simply put up a buy order on the exchange, the exchange matches the two orders since they are of same value, and when it does, the trade is executed, which means both traders have provided liquidity for themselves. But not every time a buy or sell order matches themselves, every trader might want to buy different values worth of cryptocurrency of a trading pair, that's when already generated liquidity has to come in so traders can buy or sell any value of an asset at any time. Now let's go to how already generated. Liquidity is created on an exchanges. There are basically two categories of traders. These are the market makers and the market takers. The market makers are responsible for generating liquidity for traders on a particular trading pair which can be F slash USDT or any other trading pair. What these categories of market traders does is to make a limit order an order which is executed when a condition is met, which is recorded in an order book, example of such order is sell 5th at $2000 or can be buy 10th at $1000, these orders aren't executed until the condition of price is met. In selling off 5th at $2000 the trader has locked 5th in the order book trading until th price goes to $2000. While in buying 10th at $1,000 the trader has locked $10,000 worth of USDT in the order book. Trading, these locked amount is where the market takers get liquidity from when they trade by making market order, an order to buy or sell at the current market price. This is also the same reason while a market taker could buy or sell any amount of an asset from a trading pair and is executed almost instantly, and they don't need to wait for another trading order to match the amount of asset they want to buy or sell. The market makers are the liquidity providers in an exchange while the market taker remove from the liquidity provided by the market makers to execute their trading orders. The market makers are charged lesser trading fee compared to the market takers. This is because the market makers adds liquidity to the exchange. Market makers and market takers are the lifeblood of many trading platforms and their presence or lack of it separate strong exchanges from weak ones. From this explanation you can see that liquidity isn't necessarily provided by the trading platform or by a cryptocurrency developers. Liquidity on an exchange is provided by the traders on the exchange, basically the market makers. Note that providing liquidity on a decentralized exchange is quite different from providing liquidity on a centralized exchange, 
You can read about providing liquidity on a decentralized exchange online. How does the Alpha Exchange Service functions? The Alpha Exchange Service functions in a similar but even simpler way. If you would like to get a hint on how it works, you can swipe down and check our previous post on it. Alpha Exchange is here. The core team is happy to announce the release of the Alpha Network Exchange. You can find the exchange directly on our website for easy access from anywhere, anytime. Start buying or selling Alpha right away on a safe and secure platform. Together with the exchange, we are introducing the sign-in key manager which provides a secure login mechanism for future Alpha-connected applications. Aside from providing a profit and investment mechanism for the ecosystem, the exchange contributes to the burn of coins. This is achieved by destroying a small percentage of the sold coins while buy orders are being filled. The platform pays sellers for the burned coins as if they were sold and returns them to the mining pool. This increases your profits as a seller while allowing you to mine more on the app. Disclaimer! Please, keep in mind that this isn't financial advice. We take no responsibility for any loss or damage caused by your actions or inactions as a result of watching any of our videos. You acknowledge that you use the information we provide at your own risk. Quick reminder, if investing in any cryptocurrency seems like an interesting idea to you, the easiest and safest way to buy any cryptocurrency regardless of any country you reside in is to buy from the Binance platform. There are other places where you can buy cryptocurrency, but this platform is the best and cheapest as far as cryptocurrency is concerned. Kindly use the link in the description of this video to buy and start trading. Also, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and notification bell down below, so you get to know whenever we post similar videos like this. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next